now we will start 2d transformation problems so the first problem perform the following transformations independently means we have to perform the transformation independently and find the resultant transformation matrix resultant transformation means we have to find the total transformation which we will get by performing the transformation which we are given in the problem so first we have to do scaling means scale the object two times in x direction and three times in y direction means he says that we have to scale the object two times in x direction and three times in y direction and secondly he is saying rotate the object by 90 degree anti clockwise means he has given theta means theta is 90 degree but the sign is important factor in rotation so is also mentioned that it is anti clockwise rotation is been done so we all know that theta if it is anti clockwise then we will take it as negative then he is saying translate one unit in y direct x direction translate one unit in x direction and two unit in y direction so third and last one translation is to be done one unit in x direction and two unit in y direction so we will start the problem now we will start with first we will write given data he is saying scale the object two times in x direction and three times in y direction which means that s x and s y is given s x is equal to 2 and s y is equal to 3 and he is saying rotate the object by 90 degree anti clockwise means theta is given theta is 90 degree since it is anti clockwise then theta is equal to minus 90 so we will write theta is minus 90 degree and third he says translate one unit in x direction and two unit in y direction means tx is given and ty is given means tx equal to 1 and ty is equal to 2 and to find perform the following transformation independently and find resultant transformation or total transformation we denote it by tr means we have to calculate tr so now the solution first scaling the care should be taken while performing while solving transformation problem the order means the order which is given in the problem that order we have to use because matrix multiplication it is an important thing in matrix multiplication that it is means a b means a into b is not equal to b into a so because of that we always have to follow that order scaling so standard scaling matrix s is nothing but sx 0 0 0 sy 0 0 0 1 here sx equal to sx is 2 and sy is 3 is directly in problem sx value and sy value is given so just replace the values of sx and sy we will get 2 0 0 0 3 0 0 0 1 so this is the solution of scaling now second one is rotation in rotation the standard matrix for rotation is cos theta sin theta 0 minus sin theta cos theta 0 0 0 1 so through given data 
we have to know the value of theta so theta value is minus 90 so just replace the value of theta as minus 90 so we will get cos minus 90 sin minus 90 0 minus sin minus 90 cos minus 90 0 0 0 1 So, R is equal to cos of minus 90 is 0, sin of minus 90, sin 90 is 1 and minus, because of this minus sign, then it will become minus 1. So, this will become 0, this will become minus 1, it is already 0, sin minus 90 is minus 1, minus of minus 1 is 1 and this will become 0. So, the final matrix for rotation is 0, minus 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. This is the final rotation matrix. Now, third one is translation. The standard translation matrix is T is equal to 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, Tx, Ty, 1. From the given data, we will note down the value of Tx and Ty. So, here, so here Tx is 1 and Ty is 2. So, we will just replace the value of Tx and Ty, where Tx is 1 and Ty is 2. T is equal to 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 1. So, this is final translation matrix. But we have to find the total transformation, total transformation or resultant transformation. Which is denoted by TR. So, I earlier also told while problem while solving the 2D problems or 2D transformation problems, the sequence is very important, means it plays a vital role. So, so while referring, first scaling is done, second rotation has been done, and third translation has been done. So, this is a sequence which we have to follow. So, first scaling was done, rotation was done and translation was done. So, just replacing the value of scaling, rotation and translation, now we will do matrix multiplication. TR is equal to the scaling matrix, we will refer it with the value which we got during scaling, which is uh, 2, 0, 0, 0, 3, 0, 0, 0, 1. 2, 0, 0, 0, 3, 0, 0, 0, 1. And second one, rotation. So, we will refer the solution of rotation that is uh, 0, minus 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So, 0, minus 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And third one was translation. So, the solution which we got during translation was first two row was identi identity and last one was 1 to 1. First two row is identity, 1 to 1. Now, we will do matrix multiplication. So, while doing matrix multiplication and we have to always start, if you are doing manually, we have to start from this side means we have to first multiply these two matrices after the solution of this matrices multiply by this one so i will write the matrices 2 0 0 means it will not change now we will multiply these two matrices so we will multiply 
first row with first column. 0 into 1 which is 0, minus 1 into 0 is 0, 0 into 1 is 0. So the value is 0. Now we will multiply first row with second column. 0 into 0 is 0, minus 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 and 0 into 2 is 0. So it is minus 1. Now we will multiply the first row with third column. 0 into 0, minus 1 into 0 is 0, 0 into 1 is also 0. So value is 0. Now we will multiply second row with first column. 1 into 1 is 1, 0 into 0 is 0 and 0 into 0, 0 into 1 is 1. So answer is 1. Now we will multiply second row with second column. So 1 into 0 is 0, 0 into 1 is also 0, 0 into 2 is also 0, so value is 0. Similarly, now we will multiply second row with third column. 1 into 0 is 0, 0 into 0 is also 0, 0 into 1 is also 0, the addition is 0. Similarly, I can say one trick also for you. If we are multiplying with identity matrix, means since last row of this matrices is 1, by multiplying this matrices, na, we also get same value, means 1 to 1. Now we will see 0 into 1 is 0, 0 into 0 is 0, and 1 into 1 is 1. Similarly, 0 into 0 is 0, 0 into 1 is also 0, 1 into 2 is 2, 0 into 0 is 0, 0 into 0 is 0, 1 into 1 is 1, which I already said that multiplying with identity matrix, the value remains the same, that why 1 to 1 also appeared here as 1 to 1. Now, now we will multiply this to matrices. So, first row with first column, 2 into 0 is 0. 0 into 1 is 0 and 0 into 1 is also 0. So, value is 0. First row with second column. 2 into minus 1 is minus 2. 0 into 0 is 0. 0 into 2 is 0. The value is minus 2. Similarly, first row with third column. 2 into 0 is 0. 0 into 0 is 0. 0 into 1 is also 0. So, value is 0. Similarly, I will read said that multiplying with identity matrix will answer will be same. We will check 0 into 0 is 0, 3 into 1 is 1, 0 into 1 is 1. So, value is 3. So, 0 into minus 1 is 0, 3 into 0 is 0, 0 into 2 is also 0. So, value is 0. Now, 0 into 0 is 0. 0, 3 into 0 is 0, 0 into 1 is 0, value is 0. Now, third row with first column, 0 into 0 is 0, 0 into 1 is also 0, 1 into 1 is 1, 0 into minus 1 is 0, 0 into 0 is 0, 1 into 2 is 2, 0 into 0 is 0, 0 into 0 is also 0, 1 into 1 is 1. This is the solution that is TR means total transformation matrix for the given transformation. So, this is solution. Thank you.